can't beat the in-person interactions, the lunches, the dinners. The quality of the people that you meet over coffee here is just phenomenal. Hey everyone, my name is Max Huddleston uh, and I'm a software engineer at Optiver. For those of you who haven't heard of Optiver, we're a proprietary trading firm, specifically an options market maker with offices over the globe. Today I wanted to talk to you all about a system that we built uh, that relies on Linux signals that helps constrain and limit our auto trading risk uh, in emergency shutdown scenarios. It's not directly related to C++, but it's something that I find interesting and I thought the rest of the attendees uh, might find interesting as well. So automated trading risk, uh, at a firm like Optiver, we can be trading uh, millions of different instruments with thousands of different trading processes at the same time. These automated trading processes are making very rapid trading decisions, uh, so much so that we could never possibly double check these orders as they go out. Uh, so we have to build systems that limit this risk. This is also a very big risk uh, because they're sending these orders so quickly. Uh, if there is an issue, like say we roll out a software bug or we get our pricing wrong, this could be unrecoverable loss for a firm like Optifer in this time span of even a couple of minutes. Uh, and it could also have a very negative effect on the external market, which we definitely don't want. So the majority of this talk will be about process management. For a trading firm like Optifer, this is relatively straightforward. Uh, we trade on different exchanges in markets, and these only have a certain time period that they're open during the day. So we can just bring up our core trading processes before the market opens, uh, run them throughout the day, and then after the market closes, it's pretty easy just to bring them down, do any releases and upgrades that we need to. As a market maker, we make money by being in the market and actively trading. Uh, we can't profit if we're not trading, so it's our no number one goal to always be active, like make our processes reliable, make sure that they stay in. That being said, there are scenarios where we definitely 100% do not want to be in the market. Um, these are pretty rare, but they do come up. So like I said before, there could be a software bug in one of our processes uh, that's really serious that is causing us, or causing us to make bad orders and bad trades. Could also be due to like a hardware issue. So maybe our, one of our core switches goes down, uh, but it could also be due to external issues. So the exchange is uh, exhibiting some behavior that we're not comfortable with, we might wanna pull all of our auto traders and get out of the market. In these scenarios, we can't be scrambling around even for minutes at a time, because uh, if there is this auto trader that is making these very bad trading decisions, uh, it does have a huge impact and we need to get out and stop trading as soon as possible. Brief overview on Linux signals. Uh, on the Linux kernel, they're the number one way that you stop Linux processes. Uh, there's just an asynchronous event notification that interrupts the receiving process. Uh, signals have default dispositions or signal handlers. So when you're sitting there pressing control C in the terminal trying to stop a hung program, what you're really doing is sending it a SIG in. And the default action is just to terminate that process. Processes can also specify their own custom dis uh, dispositions and signal handlers. So instead of the default action of terminating, maybe they wanna sleep for a little bit, like clean up any outstanding state and then cleanly shut down. Some signals are actually unable to be caught by Linux processes. Uh, SIG kill is the big one. So if the kernel ever receives a SIG kill for a user process, it'll just shut it down and the process doesn't have any say in that. So at Optiver, we build this system uh, specifically for this emergency shutdown case that relies on Linux signals. We have this control process that starts up all of our core trading processes. Uh, it's literally starting up, getting the trading process details, uh, forking and executing into this trading process. Uh, separately, the control process just runs in the background is continually monitoring uh, the activity of this trading process. We structurally enforce that this control process is running when we are trading and there is no trading without it running. It's a completely independent implementation. So you could imagine a system where maybe this is a module or library that's built into the auto trader that maybe blocks trading whenever we receive the stop trading message, uh, but actually separating it out gives us a lot of guarantees, uh, and we do think it is more powerful and more safe. Then we just use Linux signals to actually stop the trading application. So when we receive the stop trading, we'll send the trading process to SIG in, 
give it time to clean up any outstanding state, maybe pull orders, pull quotes. And then if it doesn't shut down, maybe it's stuck in a bad infinite loop, we'll send a SIG kill. Then we use the Linux kernel to actually enforce that this trading application stops. All of this is pretty quick. It can run in a matter of seconds. Uh, and it is a great way to guarantee that we stop trading. Hope you all found that interesting uh, and thank you for listening.